Um, here you're given um, a har simple harmonic motion problem, and you're given this equation that gives the displacement. Um, <clears throat> and what you're asked to do is basically break this problem down. Um, if you compare it to like a standard problem where you have, uh, say, like y equals a cosine of b times t, um, the implications a is your amplitude, right? Which, if you look at the notes above, that is your maximum displacement. So, part a is actually very straightforward. Um, um, and B, that's your angular frequency. Uh, you rarely need to know the angular frequency by itself, but um, it is useful to know that for um, a sine or cosine graph, right, the way we use that is we set up the period, right, the normal period for a sine or cosine graph is 2 pi. And you take that B value, so what's ever in front of your uh, independent variable, so in this case pi over 8, you set up the period as 2 pi over that. So let's go through this. Um, a, um, in this case, the value of A is 14, right? That comes before the cosine, right? And this is your amplitude, right? So... That's um, another word for the maximum displacement. Um, in B, right, a lot of this is just terminology. That They're asking the time required for one cycle. Um, in other words, they are asking for the period. So what we would do here is take the pi over 8 and plug it into this expression here. Right? So 2 pi over pi over 8, right, and if we flip the bottom, we get 2 pi multiplied by 8 over pi, we can cancel the pi's, right, and end up with 16 seconds, um, this is 14 centimeters back here, right, and then for C, right, the frequency they're just asking us to flip the period, right, so 1 over 16, um, and we'll get 1 over 16th is our number, and that is in hertz, right, which is cycles per second.